Hi, Twin Flames, getting right into uh, your Twin Flame and Karmic reading. Let's see what is going on. If you haven't watched the Love Messages video, I suggest you do because they had to lot, a lot to say about this karmic situation. So we're going to see what is really going on, all right? I am hosting a sale right now, so if you would like to book a personal reading with me, please go in the description box below if you want to know what's going on in your divine masculine karmic situation so over energy queen of wands i'm not surprised because when it came to you in that divine masculine reading over energy was you upright so the karmic is still trying to pretend to be you but they're not you know that they, they have their guard down because they feel like they won but in reality this divine masculine is only there because of obligations right financial obligations either the karmic is a breadwinner or they're just there because of children right um they know that's the only reason why that the divine masculine is clearly hanging on to them right nine of pentacles nothing to do with necessarily love here you don't even see cups yet right they're taking advantage of the whole situation i don't still don't see any cups you know and it's making them happy that divine masculine is with them but they don't care how the divine masculine feels right divine masculine is this king of swords energy that's in reverse you know and the king of swords showed up in a whole entirely different deck in that love messages reading so this karmic knows that divine masculine is not emotionally available at all so they don't care they don't care as long as the direction and the future leads all the way back to them right they're kind of selfish here with the nine of cups wanting um this whole situation because of their own wish fulfillment and karma is going to kick them in the ass like really soon here with judgment i'm not surprised that car that judgment is in reverse because this situation here we have the eight of wands and the ace of swords right it's it's it's, it's all a lie there's no communication really the divine masculine wants out they want to be single with the nine of pentacles three of wands energy and they're and this karmic is while the divine masculine is trying to manifest and out, the karmic is trying to figure out how to keep them wrapped around their finger, right? Divine masculine energy is showing up in reverse with Aries energy and Gemini. Your divine masculine could be either of those signs. So they're keeping like lust and codependency and toxicity um, to hold them together, right? If, if I can say that. We have the Ace of Wands in reverse and the Eight of Pentacles. Again, no passion, no nothing, right? They're just trying to keep a hold on, on to them because of the lovers, right? Intimacy is just, um, again, due to the obligation of a child here. They're only, they're, they're keeping them around because of, um, like intimacy i'm trying to say is that the intimacy is passionless right like there's nothing really there and then the karmic just feels that the divine masculine wants them in that way but they don't and look at this again the emperor energy is in reverse in this deck so divine masculine is not in it anymore you know there's no emotions at all you know the only emotions that they can feel is through intimacy is what i'm trying to say here uh, divine feminines and it's just a mess it's it's a mess you know um divine masculine knows it can't get out of the situation because of a child or due to financial gains you know and it's and it's keeping them in um, more pain right the three of swords is here they're they're angry at themselves waiting on the right time to turn so that they can get out of this we have the ace of swords this karmic is lying like about I, I feel like they're still talking shit about you like 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 they're lying about what they heard about you like they're making shit up about you like they're just pissing me off is what i'm getting and it, and and them doing this like talking shit is they're hoping that this will keep you um blocked out of their lives right that you know if they mention you or talk bad about you divine mass is gonna agree like for some of them they did and now it's like um there's no uh revival of, of your connection with this divine masculine but in, in reality it's pushing the divine masculine more and more away because they're realizing how like evil and simple-minded this karmic is so we have the nine of pentacles showing up with the five of wands king of cups and the three of wands because you know honestly this is a divine masculine karmic reading the divine masculine chose the karmic through manipulation dark magic whatever you know and they know that they're they're having conflict with their emotions right and the karmic don't care <laughs> they don't care as long as they know where this divine masculine is at all times they don't give a shit right so divine masculine is conflicted if you can see the three of wands is in reverse with this three of wands upright there's conflict there right you know 
trying to act like keeping up with the Joneses, that the love and the emotions is there, but in reality, it's not. You know, the divine masculine is realizing for some of them, it was only intimacy and lust. And it, for some of them, they create a child, right? They create a child and they're seeing it for what it is now, but knowing they can't do anything because of child support, right? They don't want to do, they don't want to go through the court system here. So they're feeling really empty at the moment, trying to figure out their next steps because. If they leave this karmic, betray them, they're going on, they're going to go right to court. So it's going to take a huge hit to their pockets, right? That five of pentacles is there for a reason here. So they're, they're trying to strategize a plan, you know, figuring out how to keep their coins and getting out of this fake ass relationship, right? Five of swords. The ego and pride is getting in the way because they're worried about an image. They're worried about an image and that image is going to be tarnished, right? We have warning, don't dismiss the red flags here. And that's what's keeping them stressed out because how can they keep continue to live this fake life? The, the red flags are big and bright as hell here. So they're making a decision about this relationship. You know, they're thinking about marriage. Do I really want to be with this karmic forever? And it's like, no, we're on different pages. We're on different pages. I don't share the same vision. I don't want marriage with this karmic. I don't want anything. So they're making a decision right now. You know, the red flags are there for a reason and they're going to quickly kind of cut this out. All right. It's just going to take some more time. Okay. I'm just clearing that out. So that's why we have Emperor. The energy is in reverse. You know, they're only there because of a past obligation or situation here. I'm going to see what this hangman about. Uh, hangman is about. Spirit wants them to kind of reap their karma, reap what they sow for a little while longer. Um, they're both definitely stalking you, the karmic and the divine masculine here. They're just keeping it secret. They're not telling each other really. Um, and this could be what the karmic is talking about, like, like, you doing something on social media, the divine masculine knows that that's not true, right? And so they're like, I, I gotta get the hell out of here. Freedom from toxic relationship or addiction because they know you're not posting anything. So they're really understanding like, damn, this karmic really stabbed me in the back. So it's kind of like a 364 blown circle, right? Now the divine masculine is getting stabbed in the back. It's karma, you know, what goes around comes around. And that's what's happening here. This tire moment is blowing shit up because it's like, this is so unbalanced and toxic and negative. And I don't want anything to do with this. So we have the Ace of Wands, the Ten of Swords, and the Five of Pentacles here. Again, feeling completely stuck in this hell of a relationship. It's just bad. It's bad. Look at this shit. They really stuck. They really stuck. <laughs> and foes really like out in the cold. Karma's kicking their ass. And it's going to keep kicking their ass. You know? Until they realize these wands, they're, the burdens aren't theirs to carry. All they need is this damn wand. They need one wand. They're carrying all these wands that has nothing to do with them. So they're they're like, I, you know, something has to give. The Six of Swords, peaceful, peace, peacefulness is trying to come in. But the Divine Muslim's got to take this one wand and decide. Where do you want to go? Who do I want to share my world with? You know, waiting on the right time to come in because they know that this isn't the right relationship. And they're working on ending this with the Knight of Cups, but they got to choose. They have to choose. Clarify the Eight of Pentacles, Six of Wands, Queen of Wands, and the Queen of Cups. Yeah. Definitely uh, realize who <laughs> the fake is. And it ain't you, Divine Feminines. Putting emotionally manipulative. Queen of Cups energy, this Queen of Wands with this karma. They don't want to work on this, you know. This fake family image. They don't. They don't want this. There's no love. There's no emotions. They're faking it. Every time the divine masculine thinks of you, they they understand how fake this shit is, right? And there's no going back from that. All right. So I'm gonna leave it there, guys, and have a wonderful week.